Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. I'm going to walk you through GitLab's secure stage and show you how to integrate security into your development lifecycle. Now let's get started. Here we can see the different components of GitLab's secure stage. In this video, I'll go over security scanning, as well as workflows from the perspective of developers and members of a security team. Here is an example of the developer lifecycle. The developer commits some code and then the GitLab CI runs. This begins the whole suite of security scans, including DAST, which can run against the review app. After the scans are run, the developer is provided with detailed information on the vulnerabilities. The developer can also create issues or dismiss them as they see fit. Also note that the security team has access to a security dashboard where they can have an oversight of the security posture of a project or group of projects. Here we can see the pipeline in action. You can see that first there's a build stage in which the image is built, and then a variety of security scans are run. Then we deploy the review app and run DAST against it. Here are the results of the security scan. They are made available in one common view. In a typical developer workflow, the developer will continue to iterate over the MR until all the vulnerabilities have been resolved. Now let's get into each type of scan and what they do. Here's an example of SAST, or Static Application Security Testing. It scans the application's source code and binaries to spot potential vulnerabilities before deployment, using a combination of open source and GitLab created scanners, all maintained by GitLab. You can see here with this pop-up that it detected a possible SQL injection vector. You can also see that there's more information on the vulnerability provided as well as a link to the line of code in which it has occurred. Then there's dependency scanning which analyzes all the external dependencies such as libraries for known vulnerabilities. Here you can see a denial of service vulnerability was detected because we are using an older version of Flask. You can see that there is a solution provided, as well as a link to more information on this vulnerability. Container scanning checks Docker images for known vulnerabilities in the application environment. It uses an open source tool known as Clare. Here you can see that a vulnerability was detected because we are using an older version of Alpine. DAST, or Dynamic Application Security Testing, analyzes your running web application for known vulnerabilities. It runs live attacks against a review app or an environment of your choice. Here we can see that it detected that the web application was missing the X Content Type Options header. License scanning scans all the licenses within the dependencies of a project and matches them against an approved or denied list, which is usually based off a policy set by the security team. Now let's go over some common developer workflows. A developer can dismiss a vulnerability and provide a reason as to why it's being dismissed. This will show the vulnerability as crossed out the security team will be able to see who dismissed it and why. The developer can also create confidential issues from the vulnerability. The issues will be auto-populated with more information on the vulnerability and how to resolve it. The security team has access to the security dashboard. Here the security team can overview every vulnerability within a project. These vulnerabilities can be sorted by severity, confidence, and report type. The security dashboard is also available at the group level. This shows all the vulnerabilities within a group. This allows the security team to assess the security posture over time. Notice that vulnerabilities can also be sorted by severity, confidence, report type, and project. All the described security scans can be added using templates, which are provided as part of your GitLab installation. Each scan can also be further configured using environment variables. 
Also, enabling Auto DevOps adds all these scans by default. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. For more information, please visit about.gitlab.com.